Salut! I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to try to sum up the most important information about the French future tense in one video. And while we're at it, I'll explain to you an extra tense, uh, the futur antérieur. This means that if you ever forget how to use the future, you can come back to this lesson in the future. <laughs> also in the notes, there's a point about the verb passé, which can mean to spend time, but also to pass by or to seem like. I invite you to download them by clicking on the link below the like and subscribe buttons. All right, the future tense, le futur. Basically, when you use will in English, like in the sentences, I will eat or I will do it, when someone asks you to do something and you don't really want to do it right now. <laughs> well, let's start with the easy part. Do you remember how annoying I was at the beginning of those videos about what an infinitive is? The non-conjugated form of the verb. <laughs> well, it turns out it's super useful for the future tense. Because all you need to do for regular verbs of the first and second groups is to add the regular endings of the future straight after the infinitive. You can already learn them by heart like a rhyme. The ending of the future are A-I-A-S-A-O-N-S, easy O-N-T. Again, A-I-A-S-A-O-N-S, easy O-N-T. So for example, if you take the verb manger, you write manger, M-A-N-G-E-R, and add these endings. Now, Keep in mind that it does change the pronunciation a bit, because your ending ER in the end used to make the sound E. But now that we add more vowels after, the ending R will become a linking R sound. So the verb manger in the future is conjugated as follows. Please repeat after me. Je mangerai. Tu mangeras. Il mangera. Nous mangerons, vous mangerez, ils mangeront. See, pretty straightforward. Now, it's the same for verbs of the second group, meaning that the infinitive ends in IR. For example, partir, which means to leave. We take our infinitive, partir, and we add A I A S A O N S E Z O N T. So, The verb partir is conjugated in the future tense as follows. Please repeat after me. Je partirai. Tu partiras. Il partira. Nous partirons. Vous partirez. Ils partiront. Now, another easy one is regular verbs ending in RE. For example, prendre, which means to take. All you need to do is remove that ending E and add A I A S A O N S E Z O N T. So the verb prendre is conjugated in the future as follows. Please repeat after me. Je prendrai. Tu prendras. Il prendra. Nous prendrons. Vous prendrez, ils prendront. All right, of course, there are irregular verbs, but what's irregular is their stem, not their endings. So, to start, I'm going to give you the three most important ones. The verb aller, être, and avoir. By the way, if you speak Spanish, pay attention to the root of these verbs in the future you might notice something interesting. Anyway, the verb aller in the future is conjugated as follows. Please repeat after me. J'irai, tu iras, il ira, nous irons, vous irez, ils iront. The verb être now in the future is conjugated as follows. Please repeat after me. Je serai. Tu seras. Il sera. Nous serons. Vous serez. Ils seront. 
And the verb avoir in the future is conjugated as follows. Please repeat after me. J'aurai, tu auras, il aura, nous aurons, vous aurez, ils auront. All right, now that we have seen the auxiliaries être and avoir in the future, you actually know an extra tense, and it's the future antérieur. The future antérieur, sometimes called the past future, is basically a past within the future. In English, you will hear it in a sentence like, I will have done this when you get here. This means that something will have happened before something else happens more in the future. The way you conjugate the future antérieur is by conjugating the auxiliary être and avoir in the future and then adding the past participle of your verb. It's basically a passé composé, except the auxiliary is conjugated in the future rather than the present. Let me give you two examples. One verb that uses the auxiliary avoir, manger, and one verb that uses the auxiliary être, partir. So, the verb manger is conjugated in the future antérieur as follows. Please repeat after me. J'aurai mangé. Tu auras mangé. Il aura mangé. Nous aurons mangé. Vous aurez mangé. Ils auront mangé. Now, the verb partir is conjugated in the future antérieur as follows. Please repeat after me. Je serai parti. Tu seras parti. Il sera parti. Nous serons partis. Vous serez parti. Ils seront partis. All right, one final point I need to make is about when we use the future in French, but you don't in English. Most sentences that use will in English will be the future in French. But there is a case where in English you use a present. What I need you to think about is if an action is actually taking place in the future or not. Because in English, it's common to say something like, I will see you when you get here. The you get here part is using a present. But when you think about it, are you getting here now? No, it's happening in the future. This is why in French, we conceive this sentence as I will see you when you will get here. Therefore, the sentence I will see you when you get here in French is Je te verrai quand tu seras ici. There's a list of locutions that use a present in English that require a future in French if the action happens in the future. Basically, when, as soon as, and as long as. Please make sure you check them out in the notes below. Also, you may have noticed in my previous example that the verb voir is irregular. But did you notice that the stem is just V-E-R-R? -R? Now you can conjugate the verb voir by yourself by just adding A-I-A-S-A-O-N-S-E-Z-O-N-T. You could say, for example, you will see my cat in three seconds. Tu verras mon chat dans trois secondes. Deux, trois. <laughs> voilà, that was all for today. Remember to download the class notes for more examples and to practice with other regular verbs. Why don't you show me how you would use the future? Tell me in the comments what you will do tomorrow, for example. In the meantime, I hope you learned something and I'll see you on the next one. Je vous verrai la prochaine fois. Au revoir.